Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So similar to the previous video, in today's one we're gonna show you a showcase table, how you can make it yourself. And more specifically today we are working on a statistic table where you can include your charts as well. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. Uh, okay guys, so we're looking at this responsive statistics table. Um, Basically, this is the documentation. Uh, you can find it under table examples, statistics table. So we will be creating this table and these two charts. Um, in WP data tables, we need to click on create table. And this table that you see uh, in our documentation is a MySQL query based table. So in there, we select the SQL query and use the select all from statistics table, which we have in the database. This returns the data that you see, which is the data that's on this table, but not formatted yet. So what we need to do here is first hide the uh, WDT underscore ID. It doesn't have to be a filterable column. So it only shows the items, the purchase date and stuff like that. So as you can see, these are all pulled from the database. So they're all lowercase, no spaces. Uh, we can change that in here. So just change item, uh, purchase date, units sold, unit price. So that we are making this look prettier and the table itself. So here we go. Now we can see the um, headers of columns are um, <clears throat> readable. Uh, what we need to do here is add a few conditional formatting rules, which is if there's a value above zero, set cell color to. In this case, we have this prepared. So the color can be saved like this. And the new rule, which sets some custom CSS for the cell, which is uh, white text. Now, when we save it, we will see that the color changed, but the text is not so good. So under customize custom CSS, we copy this and simply hit save changes. So now the text is readable. Same goes for the cost and profit columns. So if the value is above zero, set cell color to the second color can be added like this. So in here, we just paste, save and add another rule where we include the custom CSS. So white text again. This is it. And the next one is and because we already uh, defined the custom CSS under the top, we don't have to do it separate for each yes. column. It's that's right. As soon as you enter the same class, you will be able to use it in this table uh, multiple times. So this goes if you save the CSS in this table, it applies only to that table. So if I was to save the CSS that we have here under settings, custom JS and CSS, if I was to save it in here, then the same CSS would apply to all existing WP data tables. Um, this, fin this concludes the setup of the visual of the table. Now what we need to do is hide these on mobiles and tablets. So just go through them and hide each of these like this. And now we hit save. So um, basically, this is this completes the uh, responsiveness for the table. So when we take a look at it and a mobile uh, device, we will see the table shrunk and the data is collapsed. We'll show this later. Now we move to creating charts from this table. Um, okay, now we create a new chart. We'll simply call it chart one, use high charts engine and use the stacked area chart. 
So when we click on next, we select the table that we've just created, which is table 11. We haven't named it. So let's say statistics table, hit save, um, click on next. And in here, we need to use items, revenue, profit and cost. Okay, we'll use follow table filtering and click on next. Okay, so we can enable grouping. So drinks, desk, grain, snacks, and everything is grouped because as you can see in the table here, they're being repeated a few times. Here are snacks and drinks again and snacks and so on. So we're grouping the charts so everything is under the same uh, label here. Um, okay. I believe this covers uh, everything, but we can use uh, the grid. Okay, it's it's solid. Under series, we can change these colors. So as shown here, we can use for revenue, we can use this color. Okay, then for uh, profit, we can use this color and for cost we can use this color here so now the colors in the chart are basically the same colors you see in the table and the same colors you see in this chart in our documentation so okay under credits we don't need to show credits for high charts you can see them right here we don't need to do that here um we can enable the export of chart which enables this little menu here so you can download it as an image or as a csv or as an xls file and we can show data labels when you hover over uh, each point so let's just save this chart and move on to the other one the other chart is also a um, high chart but in this case it's Pi with gradient. So when we continue, we select the table again. Now, since we saved it before we started creating this chart, it changed the name. And now we can use uh, in here, we use items and profit. Now, as you may know, you cannot add more than two columns when creating a pie chart. So here we click on follow table filtering again and move on to the next so it's responsive uh, we can enable grouping again here we go and under exporting we can show the data labels and that's about it so now we have two charts and a table so basically we can edit the tables um, page with Elementor and we can copy the short code in here but also we can select it from the menu so we've added the table we can now add these two charts and here we go so that WP data charts goes in here and we select chart one and in here, and again, WP data charts, chart number two, and update. Okay, so the table, the page is now updated. And we can take a look at the changes we've made. So here's the table. And here are the charts. Okay, mm -hmm. I mixed them up. <laughs> but those are the same charts that you see in our documentation and now we can actually see how it looks like on a mobile device when we enable this here and just refresh the page real quick uh okay i know what i did let's just go back and remove this and add a single menu here so again we'll use tab table and select the table from the menu and update 
the page. So now when we refresh it, we mm -hmm. see it as we are supposed to see it. Now, <laughs> I'll explain why you guys couldn't see it before because um, I extended the width to go over here. So uh, basically it goes away from the container in which the short code is. So if it goes above the container, it goes above the screen. So this is it. We've created the uh, responsive statistics table, which shows these columns that we hid in here. And they are shown when you click on the plus symbol in here. Now, as you can see, if I click here, nothing happens, which is also one of the relatively new mm -hmm. features that we've done with um, responsive action. As you can see, it's currently set to icon, but we can set it to be the entire row. So when we save the changes and refresh this page, now we can click on the row and it will open up the hidden data in here. Also, charts are also responsive and shown on mobile devices as well. So I believe this <laughs> is about it. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching. As you can see, we use a few different features from WP Data Tables, and you can re recreate this exact table or use some of the things on your own table, such as conditional formatting, responsiveness, whatever you need. See how you can create a few different, these are just some of the charts. We have many, many others and different chart engines. You can check it all out. Uh, and if you have any questions or have any suggestions what you see uh, what you want to see from us in the future tutorials please leave those down below in the comments and while you're there don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye guys bye bye